Hey guys, here's a closer look at the FXR Boost Jacket. Now the first thing you want to know about this jacket is it's going to fall in the crossover family line of jackets from FXR. Basically what that means is you can use this jacket just fine going out of the backcountry doing some aggressive spirited style snowmobiling. Or if you want, you can bring it out on the tracks, do some cross country riding, and you're going to be just fine and warm in this jacket. Now what makes this a crossover jacket is that it is going to have an insulated interior. This one specific is going to be removable. Now if you want to get into more detail, the body is going to be a 200 gram thermal flex insulation. And then the sleeves where you don't need as much warmth is going to be 140 gram. When it comes to the crossover jackets from FXR, this is going to fall in the lower spectrum, but it does have that removable liner. If you want to look at something a little bit more premium, definitely go for the Mission X. Now the main difference between the two of these jackets, besides obvious things such as venting and pockets and those small details, is going to be the waterproofing and breathability. So this one's going to have a 5,000 gram per square foot of breathability and 5,000 millimeter waterproofing. Compare that to something like the Mission X where you have 20,000 and 8,000. It just doesn't stack up quite as much. You're not going to want to be out in heavy, wet conditions with this jacket. All right, so let's take this jacket off and go over some features in more detail with it on the table. Now, as I was referencing to earlier, if you want to go up a notch, you can get something like the Mission X. And basically, right off the bat, you'll notice that there's no pocketing or venting in the chest area. So you'll get the vents here in the Mission X. But if we move over, we will have those vents underneath the armpit area going along the side of the jacket. And it is going to be making use of that dry vent technology which will just let the air in without letting any sort of moisture or melting snow get into the jacket itself. However, we will be missing the ventilation in the bicep area that you'll find in our end jackets in the FXR lineup. Now, another thing you'll notice is that there's nowhere on this jacket saying ActiveX Pro. And as I was alluding to earlier, in terms of the waterproofing, this is going to be the standard uh, ActiveX. So you are missing out on there and you don't have any sort of climate control embedded in this jacket. Now you will get those YKK zippers with the waterproofing. Just taking this down here. And when we get to the bottom, we do have that D-link that you'll find in all other FXR jackets. Before I open it up, I'll show you the sleeves. We do have the hidden pocket area. Nice, easily accessible tab here. Open it up with your gloves on. And then the spandex interior to throw on over your gloves, not letting any snow, air, etc., get into your jacket. So I already unzipped it. We'll go ahead and open them up. And the first thing you're going to notice is that we do have that removable liner. So this is going to be the main insulation in here. If you want to go do some more aggressive riding, put your own layering in, you can easily take this guy out. Do that right now. Basically just unzip both sides. And I will point out that you do get a pocket in the insulation here. And it is going to be full insulation, including the sleeves, which I'm pulling out right now. So there we go. The insulation is out. And now basically what you have is just a great all around mountain aggressive style riding jacket. And with that, we are going to have the hood here. And it's a removable hood, which I'll take off now for you. Basically, you just unzip the back area and then undo a few snaps and you're good to go with no hood. Now that was a closer look at the FXR Boost jacket, one of the staples in the crossover line of jackets from FXR. Got any other questions, feel free to get in touch with us.